Yeah, I think it's interesting. I was talking to um, the parent of, a, of another student athlete in our league, uh, uh, somebody who plays at a different school here, and um, had just gone on the road and lost two games. And, and um, they had talked to that parent and said, man, I don't think people realize how tough it is to play on the road um, in the Northern Sun. And that, that team is, had, was off to a really good start um, in the league, near the top of the league, and dropped a couple road games. And, and it just, there's nothing to really, it's really hard to describe how difficult that is. Um, you know, just between the being gone, you're gone for so long, you're on the bus for, for, for quite a bit of time, a lot of the time, um, and then you're turning around um, and your schedule's all off on Friday, you're sitting around all day, and then Saturday, uh, you know, you're rolling in at two in the morning or one in the morning or whatever it might be. The way that we, ha we have to travel, um, traveling with our, with our women's team as well, we have to get there the night before um, just to make sure that they can, uh, they're there for their shoot around the next morning. So. It's just a, it's a, it's not the way you would plan your vacation. Let's just say, um, if you were going to drive for, you know, that that long and then just turn around and uh, have to do squeeze everything into a, a day span or whatever it might be. So, it's really difficult. I think is to answer the question what the troubles are. Is it's a it's a really difficult thing to do for anybody. Um, and uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, times where you look at the slate and only one or two road teams win out of the out of the eight games um so you know couple that with the road trip or, or the streak we're on right now with four straight games you know the four teams we play now are really loaded with with uh experienced guys a lot of senior starters or junior starters on those four teams so um you know a lot of really experienced teams on their home court you got to be really good to win those games um i thought we played a, played a good game on saturday night um at Minnesota Duluth this past weekend, and we had our chances down the stretch um, and weren't able to, to pull that off. And again, they had a guy that's a junior for them that's an all-league guy that scored a lot of points down the stretch. Um, and we had some guys um, that are first or second year guys from us that missed a lot of shots down the stretch, <laughs> unfortunately. And then we had to foul and ended up dropping that game. But um, really proud of our effort, especially Saturday night. I, I think uh, last Friday night um, it was kind of that first long road trip for a lot of our guys and, and um, one of the one of the teams near the top of our league kind of came out uh, aggressively and our guys didn't handle that very well we didn't bounce back and um, you know and, and kind of never were able to really regroup and then I love the way we bounced back on Saturday night and played a much better basketball game and, and like you said you want to put yourself in a position those last five minutes you get to that last media timeout to have a chance to win on the road and we did that so really happy with, with the way we grew from day one to day two and the way we executed that second day. Yeah, you look at uh, Southwest this week, you know, it's been pretty clear that, that Rutgers guy has been their number one option this year. But what about his supporting cast it doesn't really jump out to be concerning to you guys? Yeah, you know, they're just, they, they've got so many guys that have played so many games for them. Um, you know, they start three senior guards, um, Basically, and then and you know they're a little bit inexperienced in the front court because they lost a couple of fifth-year guys last year. Um, but starting three senior guards and, and fifth-year guys at that, so uh, guys that have played a, a lot of basketball in the Northern Sun. So you just have to you know just the way that those older guys can execute, and it's always down the stretch. You know it gets to be NCAA tournament time, and um, and when you watch, you flip on ESPN and you watch the news, they talk about, oh, this team has senior guards and that team has senior guards and they have a lot of experience and you get to the NBA playoffs and you say, oh, they've got guys that have been there before. Well, there's a reason that people say that. It's, it's true that that experience can pay off. And one of the biggest things that I can do, in my opinion, is just it creates, um, it creates the opportunity for consistency and guys that value each possession. Um, and we, we've... We've got to find a way to value possessions a little bit more. Uh, we've lost a turnover battle the last few games. Uh, we haven't finished off plays, whether it's a loose ball or rebound, whatever. Uh, it might be just quite as good as we can be. And when you're in a whole bunch of close basketball games, one or two possession games, that one loose ball, that one rebound, that one unforced turnover can really be costly. And I think that's what they have going for them is a lot of experience and guys that have been through the battles of the Northern Sun and are used to used to playing back-to-back uh, -back games all year long. So. It's probably one of the biggest challenges this weekend, both Friday and Saturday, is just going in and playing experienced guys um, and, and certainly talented guys as well. I mean, you're going to have to really see a progression how your team performs late in the game in order to win this game. Yeah, I mean, I think it's always you're always looking for growth. Um, you're always looking for um, okay, what can we what can we do in a certain situation, and 
you know, you want your guys to be able to to recognize, um, you know, this type of defense or, or this type of press or this type of whatever, and they can kind of go back into the memory bank and say, okay, we've had success against that before. This is what we did. This is what we have to have to repeat. Um, and we still have guys that are trying to categorize that and, and build on those things moving forward and say, oh, that's what, that's how so and so guarded. This is how we attacked it, or that's how uh, we won this game down the stretch. And there's no substitute for that confidence. And you try to build that confidence every day um, by the work you put in in practice and before practice and after practice. But um, the best way to gain confidence is, like, is, as you just said, to win win some close games down the stretch and make enough of those plays and see yourself have some success. So. Um, you know, our guys are still still searching for that at times. Um, we're really close and we're on the verge. Um, we made a more better plays um, the second half of the game against Duluth on the road. We're going to have to make a lot of good plays uh, at Southwest Minnesota State and at U- and University of Sioux Falls as well because um, they've got a lot of guys, um, like I said, that have made those plays before. Do you see Matt on this, this team taking that next step? Are they ready to do that? Yeah, yeah, I think... I think we've got a lot of guys that still have their best basketball ahead of them. That's the most exciting thing for me um, is is seeing the constant improvement in our guys. Um, and, you know, let's the, the way it works out is if, you know, you come back from a road trip or you have a home stand and, and you either win the games or lose the games. I've said that a lot. Um, but, the, you know, win or loss doesn't always tell how well you played and doesn't always tell if you if your team's getting better or not. Um, and I, I really feel like we're getting better uh, from day to day and from weekend to weekend. And we don't always see this consistency in that. You know, Friday night was an example of that. But I really, really like how we learned from that game. And um, we got behind early the next night and we're able to uh, execute better and stick together and uh, put ourselves in a situation to win that game. Uh, so our, I think our ability to improve is still, still great. One of the first times we got together and sat here, you know, I just said I think our, our potential for growth is as big as it's been in a number of years. I certainly still believe that with this team. We're, we're, we're slowly climbing up, um, you know, to be our best on any given day. And that's, the, that's what you need is to be at your best and find a way to be at your best and be the best version of you. We're still getting there. And that's both exciting and frustrating at times, I think, for our players and our coaches because we see glimpses of where we can get to, um, but really happy with our with our attention to detail and how we're how we're growing as a team. And I, I have no doubts that our best basketball is going to be in the next few weeks. Um, you know, we've got we got six weeks left. It's going to be a lot of fun to coach this team. What's the biggest improvement this team's made since the start of the year? Yeah, it's. I don't know that you can pick one area. I, I, I think overall it'd probably be um, just our attention to detail and an understanding the detail that goes into being successful. Um, you know, sometimes on the defensive end, sometimes on the offensive end, sometimes as far as the scouting report goes, um, just in a lot of ways. We just continue to have a lot of growth um, in all those areas and just understanding, um, I think, how to transfer something from the practice court to the game court. Um, you know, honestly, early in the year, I saw a lot of blank stares when we talk about things, and that's probably that I didn't teach things the best uh, or as well as I could have. But now it's guys are saying, oh, I understand why we're doing that. And I, I can see how we're going to transfer that over to Friday night. Um, so I just think our attention to detail and our, our understanding of what it takes overall to be to be successful. And we understand when we're not doing that now. And sometimes that's the first step is to say, hey, I don't I don't have all the answers um, and I'm not doing all the things right. I know what I need to do right. And immediately now we recognize when we make a mistake. We're still making mistakes, but uh, we're making better and better mistakes, and that's part of the growth process as well as a basketball team, um, and especially when you have a lot of young guys out there. So that, I think that's what makes it exciting for me is just seeing seeing them get better and better um, and, and just understand the process a little better than we did maybe when we got going back in November.